in this session I would like to show you on how to check the depreciation posted so whenever you run the asset reports the system will show all the plan depreciation and uh, when you're running the report so now how to check the depreciation is posted until which date to check that yes you need to go to the accounting financial accounting fixed assets information systems reporting and 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 then you need to go to the cost accounts so this is where you need to choose the cost accounting and from the cost accounting you can see the depreciation posted report so in this report you can see in, um, the how much the depreciation is posted for each asset so this report is given by the SAP for ECC 7 where you can you can check to, to run this report so you need to go to the path fixed assets and information systems reports for asset accounting and then cost accounting then there you have a depreciation so from here you need to use a report which is available in the standard SAP so when you click on this report and you can choose the depreciation area so let's say if you want to choose in our case the chart of depreciation is 1 CN so here we should choose depreciation area as 01 because I know I will enter so you can check for each cost center or a fixed asset number or you can expand the selection here so when you expand it shows the sub number asset number so when you don't expand it's not showing any sub number so now if you want to check for a specific physical year you can enter the physical year then you click on execute you see this is where the system is showing uh, a posted depreciation by asset by posting period so it is showing by the system so if you want to change a layout so you can click on it or you can click on change layout so you have an option here so you, these are the ones so now if you want to add a company code you can add the company code so now you can see by each period what is the depreciation so now let's say I wanted to short by posting period so you click on short by posting period now you can see how the depreciation is posted so this is the ordinary depreciation and this is a unplanned depreciation and interest or a reserves transaction so you can see how the depreciation is posted until now you can see here so which is an ordinary depreciation column here so you can run this report for different depreciation areas also to see this is a, a depreciation is already posted in this column so let's say if you have any unplanned depreciation then the system will show here or if you have special depreciation or interest or any for other information will be shown by the system here so now you can go back so if you want to check only a specific period so then you need to enter 2020 then let's say number five so now if you execute the system will show for that particular period how much is the depreciation posted so you can check this is a good report where if so far how much is actually posted then you can see using this report for each asset yeah so this is a good report but if you want an asset class I don't think so you have here so um, this is only the available options here so those only you can choose here while running the reports so here now you go back post depreciation related to the cost center so now you, we see that by posting period now let's see by the cost center 
So let's say if your uh, some of the users come and ask you, hey, is there any report by cost center? So if you click on execute, then the system will show the same report here by period. You can see and the cost center information also here. So if you click on here, okay. So now you can see the information here by cost center. So there's additional information by period and also by cost center. So the cost center is shown here. So let's say some reports may be needed for analysis purpose by cost center. So this report is helpful. What is the total depreciation is posted under a specific cost center, then you can execute this report or all the cost centers in one report also is possible. So you just need to check your um, variant button and then add the cost center. Then you can insert the cost center field here. So where you can see the total depreciation posted. So here it, the system is showing here by period and by cost center. So you can also sort by the specific period also. If you want, you can use different sorting periods um, here in the report. So hope um, this helps, uh, these reports may be helpful for your reporting. So you can restrict the physical year and also the posting period before running the report or also you can use the standard layouts or you can have your own layout after you execute first time and then you can save a layout. You can use same layout every time you are executing this report. So yeah, hope you understand on how to check the depreciation is posted by the system on a monthly basis. So this is a really useful report for really one. Thank you.